Hi there, Leos, Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, and welcome to your April 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So for this month, we are having a different spread, and this time we are going to be taking a look on what is going on in the present situation, what will be happening soon, and the overall outcome on the ad events, influences, and how the energy is going to be flowing out for you um, in terms of your personal life, emotional life, and relationships and love all at the same time. So over here, we have uh, a quick uh, look on the energies that might be flowing out and what are the key themes and topics that might be um, having some form of importance in terms of our love life and relationship this month of April. And over here, we have the twin flame messages and guidance and, you know, to give us more of um details on what you might need to know especially in terms of your love situation so um yeah without any further ado let's just go ahead and look into the reading the first card that we have over here is the star card and it goes with the five of wands and the page of swords so this could be a situation wherein something actually comes in to your life or to your situation this could be some form of argument or some form of uncertainty or um there could be things that you are unsure there could be things that um you are having some form of doubt and confusion on the star card always gives us you know that point of a situation wherein something lights up something comes into the picture of things and what is coming in is the five of wands so it could be some form of argument some form of friction some form of um it could be an inner battle within yourself you know maybe there is something that you once was very confident on maybe now you are at the point where and you're not so confident about a certain topic or a certain situation in your life and you know you you are probably in a situation wherein you are looking for answers or maybe you are hoping and wishing for change to occur in your life and maybe you know this could be a typical situation about an argument um with someone or maybe some form of communication mishap could be at the picture of things you know i'm not gonna be surprised if maybe last month there has been some form of um really stupid um argument you know petty conversations that has that has affected the relationship i mean who knows right but this is what's going on with you you could be very conflicted right now feeling lost and feeling as if that there is something that you're not sure about you know this could also be a situation wherein um you could be at a planning stage of about things about your hopes and wishes and maybe you are at a situation wherein there could be a lot of choices that is in front of you and you don't know what path or what it is that you should take you know what decision should you take what kind of road you should um undergo you know those kinds of things and you are at the point wherein you want some form of clarity you know to what will happen to you in the future maybe or to what um what is the right thing to do i would say so over here what you are what the energy that you are coming in with basically we have here the justice the queen of cups and the two of cups and this is really wonderful energy because um what whatever this situation actually means for a lot of you leo people this energy is going to tell us that you are going to take action to confront something you know you are going to maybe there's going to be some form of communication some form of contact or messages that is going to come in when the justice shows up this is going to be an element wherein something needs to happen you know not because it feels good not because it's time to actually make it happen but the justice is really more of a resolution card like 
Okay, we need to solve the problem. There is something that we need to address right here, right now. Maybe things have been unfair. Um, things have been stagnant. There could be issues here that um, we have ignored. And this is the period of time we're in. We need to set things right. We need to have that talk. We need to really talk. We need to fix something. So... And this could be a situation we're in, you know, it can happen in a lot of ways, really. This could be a situation we're in, you are going to want to have a serious talk with your person. Um, and uh, this could happen in love life or relationship or whatever relationship that you are in, actually. It could be career or, you know, something very important and significant to you. It doesn't really have to be in romance alone. And this could be also a situation where an important conversations needs to happen right now. Or this could be a situation where you need to clear up some form of misunderstandings uh, with that. And it could also be emotional. But at the same time, this is about you not um, being shaky about your own beliefs. And this is really more about you being... Um, it's really that point in your life or in you're not going to hesitate anymore you, you know you're not going to hide from someone or anything like that you're not going to run away from any conversations and you know if someone asks you a question you are going to say what it is that you would want to say so you are going to be coming to a point where and you are going to be more open to connect more open to to start a new venture to communicate once again so i would say that if there has been some form of conflict or problems when it comes to talking to people this is this is really more giving us a signal that um, messages are can easily flow in during this month for a lively people so that's really a good um, sign here now um, with the outcome card we have here your ten of wands the, the emperor card and the six of swords now with the presence of the ten of wands you know there is something like quite heavy or quite um I would not completely say detriment, but this is more of an energy wherein maybe you're having a hard time in make it, making it work. So since it is with the Emperor card, I would say that this could be a situation wherein someone is being stubborn or takes things quite slow, even though we do see that things are moving forward. And um, interestingly enough, we have this, you know, energy of the pride and not ready to talk uh, and then reunion. So this gives us, you know, already a theme, um, an explanation on what this energy is all about. And this could be probably a person who is hesitating to um, to give an explanation or hesitating in opening up their emotions or um you know hesitating maybe because of their pride or ego you know they're not willing to apologize but at the same time they do want to apologize but they have a lot of fear in taking action you know maybe they have fears whether you are going uh, of how you are going to react i mean who knows right also the emperor card is more of a situation that tends to be indecisive at times and um you cannot really expect this person to to be to be very quick you know um so i would say that this is not the time to pressure anyone to do what it is that you want just let them do them um let them have their own time uh all of those kinds of things maybe they are uh, they're having a lot of burdens or maybe they are feeling trapped with other issues and uh, maybe in their work or in their other personal life because whenever someone gets has a problem it doesn't have to be about you <laughs> they could be having an entirely different issue during this time but the good news is we are ending this with the 
uh, Six of Swords, which gives us a really positive energy of moving forward. One of the really wonderful things about this card is it has that message wherein it's moving um, from a difficult place and entering to a place wherein things will be much more calmer, much more harmonious, all of those kinds of energy. So I would say that th we are now entering that point wherein there could be some form of difficulty maybe at the beginning or for us to actually make progress into things. Um, there could be things that is not easy to do, not easy to accomplish, but with this six of swords it gives us that um a green light we're in we don't need to to rush anything and to push up someone to take action or or what you don't need to provoke someone um but uh, eventually the situation is going to move forward and it's going to lead to a point wherein things are going to be much more better, much more harm harmonious. And there could be some form of unions in, in the air, you know. Things will be more in a very peaceful state of mind. This is also a situation wherein maybe there has some form of stagnancy in the air in your life. And this really gives us a confirmation that, you know, you are moving away from that stagnancy or negative situation of your life and moving into better realms and um, better aspect of life all at the same time. Now, uh, what we have over here is we have here the let me make things up to you. And we have here the card of do you still think of me? and i miss you this is really also more of a situation wherein maybe uh maybe someone made a mistake and maybe you know this could be a person which you had some form of arguments in the past and maybe they were hesitating they don't want to talk to you or at the very least um they are giving you a cold shoulder right now and you could be in a, they could be in a situation basically wherein they are wanting to enter back your life, maybe wanting to apologize and resolve all of that pride issue that they have. They have delayed things far too long. And, you know, maybe, you know, the hesitation here is whether should I talk to that person or not. And, but I still want to make things up with them, you know, I want to apologize, I want to enter their life, and you are wondering and questioning, does this person still think of me? Because I really miss them, you know, there's all those kinds of things. And also, interestingly enough, we have here the card of can you still forgive me? So I would say that this has a very huge theme about communications and um, resolving issues in the relationship, especially if there has been some form of mishaps and arguments that has occurred uh, within that relationship as well. So it's going to be very interesting. And um, I would say that a lot of this energy has to do with some form of determination, you know you do see that there's going to be messages coming in and a lot of discussions in the air you will receive some form of phone calls messages and emails and even though that there could be hesitations from the other person they will have the courage to pull through and take action and to initiate something and you know uh, there's going to be a heavy conversation that's going to be happening here and this could be also a period of time where in this um, it's really more about facing facing your fears and still doing it anyway because maybe you come to a conclusion that a certain person or a certain relationship is actually worth it. You know, giving that relationship a chance in something is being recovered, something is being revitalized, all those kinds of energies. So... Um, this is going to be a month we're in. It's about clearing the doubts cl and getting some form of clarity um, that gives some form of fulfillment within your heart's desire. So um, I did forget to pull uh, cards for my keeper deck. So let me do that uh, quickly. 
just to give us more confirmation and messages for those of you in sign of Leo for the month of April 2021. Let, let me see what we have here. So uh, we have here the coffin, the child, and the mature woman. And just for um, the purpose of this explanation, the coffin can actually represent that area of our life wherein we are feeling down, we are feeling, you know, there's something that um, is not known to us. You know, the coffin uh, is not always about death. It is something that is close and maybe there are things that you don't want to see right there you know skeletons in the closet as they say or this could be a, a time where in, this could be pertaining to a disappointment in our life but with the child card here it gives us you know something enters a new phase you know a new chapter of things comes into into the situation and this can bring some form of happiness in the air hopefully for a lot of you leo people i kind of feel that you know a lot some people are go are going to feel that energy of uh of emotions and contemplative nature and feeling trapped in fear or what should i do all those kinds of things but um this is going to be a month wherein you are going to see a shift of energy wherein something that has been down or dead suddenly comes alive and be more happier and having some form of vitality there is going to be a shift and movement that uh, allows us to be able to solve and resolve our problems um, to a particular area of our life and relationships. So, um, yeah, this is my reading with you guys, Leo. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. Uh, if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you in your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website, indestarsbycrazy.com. I do also have some form of links on my other shops at the, at the description of this video. You can definitely check them out if you're interested. And yeah, uh, I just want to invite you guys, if you're interested, to join my Facebook group. It's a small community small community and slowly growing as we speak and i'm very happy and thankful for those of you guys who actually joined in and uh, the stuff we discuss over there is really more about um, my teachings on astrology on how to do divinations and readings i also share whenever there's you know updates and insights in the astrological sky and i also do my magic works and rituals to show other people in that group so if you're interested um the links will be down below the description of this video and yeah that's it i'll see you guys again next month bye